Right folks, uh, we're going to continue with Code Combat today. The, where the goal for this week is to get to this level here, Range Finder. I think that's eight levels. Uh, as you can notice, there's loads of levels, and unless you've um, unless you're really keen and you've paid for it, and uh, you can only access so many, so just make sure you click on the right one. So they're all. I think that's eight. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight levels for this week. First couple are just kind of what we did. Um, you would have started it at the end of the last kind of world. Code combat. So you just need to use the X and Y coordinates. So you Stitcher. tell your hero what to build, and then you just type in your X's and your Y coordinates. And if you need help for this, you just hover over um, the X's here. And the first one's pretty explanatory. Um, there is something the game doesn't tell you. Um, you don't have to just Nothing make fences. Good. You can make bombs Combat. if you want. There's actually something else you can make, but I forgot what it is. Maybe it's spikes or something, I really can't remember. But like for this one here, you're meant to make a fence, but as you can see, there is gems here, and I was desperate to get them, so I have typed in fire trap with a hyphen. And I'll just run that to show you what happens. It's a lot funner, in my personal opinion, because explosions are fun. So this little character, he'll just walk along here. And I place a few mines here. So it's up to you if you want to do it this way. You can just build a fence. Just show I think that gets his attention. Yeah. And then I'll go get the gems and that. After you've finished these couple of levels, I think it gets a little bit different, and this is the bit I really want to focus on. Maybe not that, uh, this one here. Yes, if statements as well. This is a very important concept in computing, so I just want to quickly cover not that. Not a problem. If statement lets Code the a program make decisions. So, there's a little description there, but effectively, it's saying the hero's going to move to different locations. But if he sees an enemy, so if enemy, he's going to attack them twice. Now he's going to try moving to the next location, and then there's this little find enemy thing. This is because you don't know their name, so it finds out their name and it stores it in a variable called enemy, and it will say if the enemy, it will attack them twice again. Now if there's not an enemy, nothing will happen, and that is the whole point of if statements. Later on we'll look at if else statements, but for now we'll just say if there is. And now from this level onwards it's weird you've got to submit it because it's procedurally generated so there might not even be enemies. So I'm just going to run it. So there's an enemy here, so it's going to be if enemy is that bit of code to run. And then it identifies him and attacks him. It's going to loop to see. Right, there's no enemy there, so it says if enemy, nothing was there, so nothing happens when the character keeps going. And if enemy, I don't think there's anybody here either. So you've actually finished the murder. You need that code there just in case somebody does appear and then you'll get murdered if you don't have that. But if um, you have coded this, then you'll be protected. And that's pretty much how if statements work. I can't actually remember if there is if else statements in this. I'll go to one of the later levels. Um, let's have a look. If else statements, yeah. If else statements. Right. Not a problem. So, code combat. How in this level you get kind of like a super attack and it checks if the cleave ability is ready. Now, what cleave is, it just kills everybody in the area. So, it, but it needs like a, it's got like a cooldown time to like charge it up. So, if it's ready, you kill everyone. However, if it's not, rather than just sitting there like a pleb and doing nothing, you're gonna at least attack the enemy. And that's, this is in a while loop, so this is constantly happening. So my character's gonna move here, and then it's gonna constantly find enemies, find out their names so they can attack them later, just in case you need to do this bit. Actually, yeah, you need it for both bits. And then, if you can cleave, it's gonna do that. Otherwise, it's gonna attack normally, and we'll we'll submit it and see if it's okay. <coughs> yeah, kill <coughs> everyone. Yeah, that is everything again. 
the goal of this week is to reach and you know what you can complete as well range finder um, and then we'll cover the rest next week i guess right thank you very much for listening bye